This is a rack I'm going to use to mount uh, two solar panels to the back of my electric bike. This is actually uh, somebody else's uh, bike. It's not fully assembled yet. I'm just using it uh, here at the shop to hold uh, the rack in place while I work on it. Uh, but I I'm putting in a, there's a hollow section here. I'm putting in an aluminum uh, I-beam inside of it that we use actually for, for solar racking on roofs. Uh, and I put these three three pieces of threaded rod here at the bottom just to hold it in place up against the top of the the surface of the bike rack. And I'm going to drill drill several screws into it to hold um, uh, an aluminum angle piece here at the top, a two-inch aluminum angle piece, and that's what's actually going to support the hinges for the two solar panels. And I'm going to have another uh, two-inch uh, aluminum angle piece back here to hold a solar charge controller. Let's see if this works. This is a, an initial concept of how I want to mount the solar panels on my electric bicycle. Uh, you know, my version of measure twice, cut once is to do a little uh, 3D sketch up. Uh, I've mentioned this in other blogs. Uh, uh, Google SketchUp is a free tool provided by Google to do 3D models and it's very easy, easy to use, very user friendly. Uh, anyhow, this is a a model of the volume of the battery box and uh, the motor housing for the bicycle and um, this is the charge controller here where I ex expect to mount it. Uh, this bottom plate here represents the, the Schwinn bike rack that I bought that mounts onto the seat of the bike and, and this is how the panels are, are going to be mounted hinged, uh, hinged here in the middle and supported by this uh, aluminum angle piece and this piece here uh, you know is to add some support to this uh, it's tied into the the bike rack and it's to add some support for this uh, aluminum angle piece here where the panels are going to hinge I might actually uh, put an internal I-beam in the bike rack and tie this aluminum angle piece uh, uh, into that so that I don't have to use this, this support piece here, but we'll see the actual physical part, how it turns out. Anyway, I may make some modifications to this, but this really helps uh, see where interferences are. You know, I initially had, uh, imagined mounting the panels a different way, and when I did the, the SketchUp model, I realized it was totally not going to work uh, in that other way. Uh, so it helps you visualize, um, you know, and the idea is that the panels here will be hinged in the middle, and I'll be able to, uh, you know, play some level uh, to each other in, in one plane and tie them tie them together somehow to uh, keep them from um, moving during the day while they're charging. Anyway, we'll see how the physical uh, how the initial physical prototype turns out. This is an update on my solar electric bicycle. Uh, this is how I've mounted the initially mounted the solar panels, uh, and here's a charge controller. But I'm actually thinking of making some changes now before wiring everything up. Um, I'm pretty much ready to wire. Um, see this this wire that comes here, I fed it through an existing hole for other cabling on the bicycle. It goes to the batteries uh, and then to the charge controller. But I, you know, then I had a second thought of uh, actually putting the charge controller. I'll take these bungees off. I'm using these to keep the panels from slapping around. See the panels are are hinged here in the middle, and then I still have to uh, devise a, a way to keep them. After I park, keep them uh, parallel to each other and basically facing up up towards the sun. Um, yeah, so they're hinged here in the middle. So I was thinking of putting the charge controller on this uh, this center piece here that's supporting the panels. But now I'm actually thinking of uh, you know for better water protection moving the charge controller uh, inside the, the battery case there's um, there's a little alarm system on this bicycle there's a little module here in the middle a little square module that uh, you know receives the signal from a from a remote uh, where are my keys from this remote so in the battery um, or the electric portion of the bicycle or power won't uh, function unless I press this number two after hitting the, the power switch on the handlebar uh, you know but the bike can still be pedaled away or thrown onto a truck and stolen so I think the 
the security system has marginal use and it's just taking up space and adding weight that I could be using instead to uh, possibly place a charge controller inside. So I'm going to take that cover off later and, and, and look to see if there's enough room in there for the charge controller after removing the security system or bypassing it. Uh, so anyway, that's that's the current status. So you know, I rolled the bike in with this on it yesterday, kind of checking for durability. Um, you know, I have um, three self-tapping uh, and uh, self-drilling screws holding it here uh, that go into a into the I beam inside here that I showed earlier that I was putting I was putting an I beam in there uh, to give it more material to to bite into. Uh, but you know, survived the bumpy ride into work yesterday without anything coming loose or or breaking but you know obviously with fatigue uh, it's about cycles and how many cycles it can withstand so a bit, I, I feel it's pretty sturdy we'll see how long it, how durable it truly is in the field also my batteries um, were <coughs> have been draining faster than usual the last couple of rides yesterday it was actually raining on the way home or it had just rained actually and uh, you know, the roller that makes contact with the tire was just, uh, I don't know if we can see it here, was just uh, spinning, spinning like crazy on the on the rear tire because it was wet and I uh, wasn't making much uh, progress, you know, other than, than pedal power. Uh, but I don't think that's why it drained so completely. Uh, anyway, I'll have to be watching for that. I might have to replace the battery soon or, you know, I'm not sure how what the condition of the original batteries uh, was, you know, they might have been used or worn or left uh, drained for a long time, I don't know. But anyhow, I'm going to have to get new batteries and, and I might look into getting uh, lithium packs, but then I have to find a different charge controller, so I don't know, I might buy another set of AGMs and keep that charge controller for now. Anyway, that's, that's, that's the latest update on my electric bicycle project.